Dead demons make for great compost. A 90s FPS 30 years later, filled with big guns, heavy music, and a shitload of blood and guts. It gets its inspiration from games like Doom, Quake, Duke Nukem 3D, Blood, and now with the resurgence of the retro style shooters, we're looking at Hellbound. You play as Helgor, a 10 foot tall and 600 pound slab of scarred up meat. Humans revived Helgor and sent him back to hell to destroy an interplanetary teleportation system. This game takes it back to basics, just kill everything that moves. There's only a handful of weapons in this game, which is fine, each has its place, and nothing becomes obsolete as you progress. You start out with a simple shotgun, which is more like a rifle than a shotgun. Aim down the sights and it's good for picking off enemies at a distance. Next you'll get the head crusher, a heavy club that you can use to bash some skulls in. It does a bunch of damage, but it was the weapon I used the least. The triple shotgun is everything a shotgun should be. Powerful enough to kill a hell knight at close range with one blast, and when you really need to deal some damage, give them all three barrels. Next up is the Indolora, essentially a mobile minigun that shreds enemies. Highly effective against everything. Last you've got the rocket launcher. Nothing to really add, it launches rockets. The enemy list in this game is small but not underwhelming. You've got five different forms of Hell Knights, each carrying a different weapon from your arsenal. The Hell Knights are originatives, transformed by the demons to become part of their army. Vladers are the most common demon you'll face. They throw fireballs across the map, but they're easily dealt with. The Carnal is very fast, and within a certain range they'll lunge at you. Their attacks are devastating if they land, but easy enough to avoid by strafing, but a pain in the ass in tight quarters. Hit them with the triple shotgun to put them down fast. The Pygons are pretty fucking annoying. They teleport around the map to get within range, and then spit energy balls at you that cause splash damage. I usually prioritize these bastards first. I find the devs did a good job using the limited enemy list. No enemy gets left behind, and they have a habit of throwing everything at you at once. The level design is also pretty good. There's a good mix of large open areas and tight corridors. There are a few areas with some backtracking which slows the pacing down a bit, but it's nothing terrible. Aesthetically it's pretty nice, plenty of vibrant colors to break up the hellscape. The Hero Cemetery pays tribute to the supporters of the Kickstarter campaign, which is a pretty cool way of doing it. I only ran into a couple hiccups with this one. This part where I get stuck behind this lift, and a few times when the simple shotgun wouldn't fire when I pulled the trigger, and once in survival mode where I could no longer switch weapons or fire. Like the classic games, there are keystones to open new areas. Red, yellow, and green in this case. Like Doom, Hellbound has power-ups. They didn't get very creative with the names, but you've got the Hell Skin, Hell Damage, and Hell Speed. You know when you see these, you're about to get into a good fight. Health and armor pickups come in the form of life hearts and armor shields. If you're running a little low, you can blast a carcass apart for a little extra boost. Hellbound is short. It took me about four hours to get through, and that was jerking around trying to get the footage I wanted. There are currently eight maps in the game, and I don't really have a favorite or a least favorite. They're all pretty much right down the middle. The final battle, like all retro FPS games, is pretty easy. You face off against Fairlord in a large open area. Its attacks are pretty easy to avoid. The Pygons are more of a pain in the ass. It'll spawn allies in to help with the fight, but as long as you know how to circle strafe, you'll be fine. Take it down, and that's pretty much it. Fucking keys. Can I just bore the door up?